So this is just like the, the part of the treasure hunting, really. Just some stuff I wanted to do now. Of course, if you're watching this in the future and, you know, you don't really want to sit here listening to me ramble and finding treasure, then I'm sure you can skip ahead. Um, but, of course, if you're watching this, uh, I guess, when it gets, whenever it gets uploaded or not too far into the future, then you might not be able to, uh, you know, because I haven't uploaded the, the next part yet. But um, I appreciate it if you're stopping by and, uh, and watching. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you are. And if you're not, I suppose, well, also let me know what you're, what you're not enjoying about it. Some people are just not into RPGs, you know. Some people come up to me and they say, you know, I, I love your content, but I'm, RPGs aren't just, are just not really my thing. And I'm like, dude, that's, that's fine, you know. We're a variety channel, so I, I'd like to hope, oh yeah, I forgot the, uh, the Golden Golem, we'll fight him. Um... I'd like to think that we do a lot of variety, that there might be something for everyone. But that can also be a bad thing. That can also hurt a channel. Because if you're a variety channel, then you'll obviously get a lot of different people that are coming for different things. And you'll either gain subscribers for one type of thing and then lose them because you're not doing it anymore. And then you'll gain subscribers for something else you're doing. And, and you, you kind of see where I'm going. So it's kind of like, it can be good and bad, you know, for like content creators, I guess. Uh... But the simple matter of the fact is, like a lot of us, I, I just can't just play one type of game, uh, you know. I mainly stick to platformers, but at least there are different platformers, you know. Whereas there are like some channels devoted to say like Mario only, or Sonic, and things like that, you know. God damn! God damn! God damn. Um, I could psych up, but I don't really want to. Um, I wonder if I could put him to sleep. We'll try. Why not? <clears throat> you can actually put the normal gold golems to sleep. So I'm just curious. But he is one you can recruit. So that might not be the case. Unless we kill him. Jesus. What is you going... Okay, he does go to sleep. Nice. What are you going after my wife? How dare you? That woke him up though. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> uh all right, um, he's probably close, so... Poor Jessica. She has the weakest defense. There we go, we got him. Yeah, gold golems drop about... Uh, was it 700? But because this one is one you recruit, he only drops 139. But it's like... 600, 700, so if you fight two, because sometimes you get one or two encounters, you can get about 1400 gold per battle, or at least 700 for one, so that's not bad, but he does give you a, uh, a gold one, I'm not going to go for you right now, there is actually a, uh, a golem that I want, but I'm not sure if he's stronger or weaker than this one, so we're going to leave him right now, and I'm going to go get the other one, uh, Probably next part, I believe, because I want to do the monster arena before we move on the story. And compare the two, because I can't remember. Or I might just look it up anyway. And then decide whether to come back and recruit this dude or, or get the other one. But we got a gold. You know why? Because he's pretty damn good. He's a pretty damn good monster. Also, he has a higher calling. I'll just say that. I'll just say that. In the future, I will be, I will be getting all the golems. All the golems, because they have a special ability. And it's really, really, really cool. Really cool. And really useful, honestly. Alright, so now we can go down to this island down here. There's also that gigantic one on the right. We won't be going there for a good while. Not for a good while. Well, we're going to go over here, get some more treasure. Um, and then hop onto the island on the left there. Well then, they did not want to let me run away. Jesus Christ. Good job they, uh, they're they weak. They didn't really do that much damage, but still. It took like forever. There was like eight of them, and they were not letting me go. I was like, for God's sake. And then they paralyzed the hero like twice. That was annoying. Oh boy. But we can get the Saber Cat for this area. Even in this just secluded island in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Don't ask me how. Because there, like I said, there are some areas that you, you can't get the same cat. Um, but this ain't one of them. Here he comes! 
Or well, he might be a she, I don't know. It's probably male and female. Saber cats? Oh, there's also a cow. Milk, milk! Give me your milk. Oh, crap. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we got new encounters, so why not? I will... I will use, uh... The spicy cheese, although I think I've already used it once, so... Uh, thin air, boom. But we got these guys again that tells you funny stories and do different things. Um, there's actually one where I believe they tell you a romantic story and each character reacts differently. It's kind of cool. I like it. There you go, Munchie. Do your breath ability. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. We can make stronger spicy cheese now. Um, nice. Yeah, but those dudes, um, when they do the romantic story, right, each character reacts differently. And I guess it's supposed to imply of how they would react to something romantic. The hero gets confused about the story. And so he's just confused, right? Yangus thinks it's absolutely hilarious. And so he starts laughing. Jessica thinks it's romantic. It's a romantic story. I guess she is a hopeless romantic. We don't know it. Um, you know, she doesn't really open up, but yeah, apparently she's a hopeless romantic. Right, anyway, as I was saying, we got rudely interrupted by encounters galore. They are a bit tough though, so I, um, I suppose I may have an excuse to try out the cheeses and see which one heals and which one does something else. A bit of a waste. I can make more though, so it's not like the end of the world. Cheese, the cheese ones are easy to do. You know what? Let's do it right now. So we'll leave this encounter in, and we shall try a mild cheese and see what that does. Um, I was like, does everyone defend? No, it's fine. Because I doubt it's going to do damage. They're both going to heal, so. Um, swoosh, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, Mudgy. What does this do? Reminds me. Oh, it's it's a mul it's a mini multi heal. It's a lot weaker than an actual multi heal though. Basically it's like a it's it's normal heal for the entire party. Okay, well now I know. Eh, decent. Could be better, but you know. It's just a, it's just a tiny heal for everyone. Which isn't great, but Better than nothing. Well, I want to see what the other one was. Which one was cured cheese? Because I know it. I know it's probably going to be like poison or something. What is it? What does it do? Oh no! It is. It is. It's healing as well. Oh, okay. I think that one was actual multi heal. Okay, so you've got like, so you've got like mini heal for every, basically got a heal for everyone with mild cheese and then cured cheese is like the better version of it. Oh, okay, because I could have sworn there was, may, maybe I just haven't made it, maybe I have to made it. I could have sworn there is one where it like automatically like wakes the entire party or, or like cures everyone from poison or something like that. You know what I mean? It's like a status element one. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm remembering. Uh, wrong, but I thought there was one. But no, I think that one was definitely it looked like the actual multi heal. So okay, okay. So if mild cheese isn't good enough, try and make some cured cheese. Then um, we haven't got the recipe for that yet, uh, but I'm pretty certain I can make it. So there's also one you can actually do with um, magic water, I believe, and that makes chunky cheese. Actually, uh, I want to check because did the pot. I didn't hear the pot ding. It might have dinged and I didn't hear it. So I want to check. Because we could uh, probably do that right now. We're not doing anything too major at the moment with the pots. It's so making some different herbs. I know I did it. I just left it there. I must have totally forgot. But that's fine. Um, so we've got some magic water. So um, let's do one. We should have plenty of plain cheeses. 
Yeah, especially since he, he got he gave them to us as well, so. There we go. And now make some chunky cheese. So I'll let that simmer. That mix about in the pot. And then uh, when it'll be done. Uh, I believe that like I thought it was gonna be like a magic thing. But it's actually not. Um it's uh, insulation or insulate, uh, which is a spell that Jessica can, can learn if you increase that staves. Basically, it reduces fire-related attacks, I believe. Fire and ice-related attacks. I assume that's... Because I always assumed it was just breath attacks, but I think that also means... Uh, oh, I haven't encountered these. Oh, but I... Oh, okay. Okay, I'm actually kind of worried. Um... These guys hit pretty hard. I'm actually going to soak up. And I'm going to oomph. Uh, these, these dudes, uh, you, might have made, you, might have, you might have seen these before. Um, but uh, these are the recolored versions. This is the stronger version. And they combine as well. And they hit pretty hard for this point. So, kind of worried. But I think it's impossible to stop them fusing. Unless they just don't want to fuse. Does that make sense? So I'm I'm just preparing for the worst and <laughs> Oh he defends. Are they gonna confuse or not? Confuse? Are they yeah, are they, are they gonna fuse fuse con? Are they gonna do it? Not yet, surprisingly. But there it is, the jabs commanding it. Although I like the name of this. I like the pun on it. They fuse to become Jabber Walkie. Get it? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so I knew it was going to happen, and I didn't think I was going to be able to stop them fusing. So obviously, if you defeat one of them before that happens, then, you know, nice one. I'm going to oomph me, and I'll just attack. Because <clears throat> they hit hard, so I want to get rid of them quickly. <gasps> Desperate attack, and they can do that as well, which is basically critical hit for monsters. Jesus. Oh, it's a good job we did it on him, because honestly, Jessica would not have survived. She would have been dead. Nice, decent amount of damage for any uh, five tension. Let's see how much more can can do. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Well, I say, say that, but I've also got, obviously, um... I wonder if we can snooze. We'll try. Uh, I can also do the um, the I uh, I can't even speak. Damn it! I used oomph. That's what I was trying to say I used oomph to increase their attack as well. So, nah. I, think I might be able to put them to sleep. That didn't do it either. Nice, 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 nice. Good. We didn't take too much. So yeah, they're all individually called Jab. Uh, war key. So that's <laughs> it's like okay, okay. That's the strongest enemy in this area, and probably the strongest enemy we're going to encounter for a bit. Um, so, but I want to get the treasure since it's right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, I didn't encounter another one, but we might. We'll see. I'll edit it out though. Yeah, it wasn't them; it was the hoodlums. But uh, they did they did a fair amount of damage to be fair. They're doing forty damages on the hero. Can I can, can I open? Please? There we go. Seed of life. Alright. We'll use seed of life on Jessica. I think we'll use all these seeds on Jessica probably. Defense. She needs it. It's not much. But you know something, seed of wisdom. Yeah, why not? It's 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 still something. So, uh, Angela, you full heal the hero, and I believe there's one more treasure chest at the bottom here. So, this area is so empty. But I believe at night, I don't think it's here though. I think it was on the island we were just at. There, are, there is like the, this giant bat that you can recruit if you want to. Um, but it's okay. We'll, we'll most likely come back to him. Because um, I don't think it's this area. It might be, but I don't think so. It is so dark, it's kind of hard to tell, I'm not going to lie. But I think it was the island where we are just at. That, um... We get an iron mask. 
pretty sweet. But there is also this dude. The Death Tabby, Jesus. Okay. Not sure how strong this is gonna be. <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna psych up or anything. I think we'll be fine. <clears throat> we'll see how much HP it has after we after we beat it. Oosh. Yeah, okay, that's really weak. That's really weak. That's uh, gonna be a copper monster coin. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You're not gonna get very far in the tournament in the, in the arena, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I believe that's it. I believe that is it. How many uh, mini medals do we have? We have seven, I believe that's everything. So, let's wrap things up, guys. Finally, for Princess Media Castle, of course. This is going to be a long, like, session type thing, so this will mostly be split up in two or three parts. Uh, but it'll be, like, one giant session for me, so I'm recording for about an hour. Jesus Christ. Well, when you're having fun, you kind of lose yourself, you know. But that's, you know, it could be a good thing. You know, just chill out, having fun, doing what you do. For me, it's, of course, it is chilling out, playing video games. It kind of depends. If I'm doing, like, challenges, then I might be, like, <gasps> super stressed. But I'm just chilling out, playing one of my favorite games, so. Hello. And now we have enough for a posh waistcoat. The next one is 45, right? Yeah. Yeah, 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the Divine Wrath, which, honestly, I don't really care too much about. I think it's a... Uh, it's basically a built-in swoosh. That's what you use it for. You can, like, give it to, I believe, Jessica or Angela if you want them to wield staves. But, honestly, I don't really bother. Uh, so, what I do bother is, though, I get that posh waistcoat. And because Angela's the only one who can wear it anyway. Boom. Look at that. Now his defense has gone up from... 98 to 124, so that's going to help him out for a little bit, so that's cool. Um, and uh, honestly, we'll get the full bunny suit, and that'll probably be better than this. So, that's uh, from the Monster Arena, actually. So, in the next session, guys, we're actually going to tackle a little bit of the Monster Arena. Um, so, with that said, where do I want Where do I want to go? It doesn't really matter too much, because I can... Kind of warp there. And you know what? We're going to go to, uh, I think it's Sivu Church. Because you can actually rest for free. So why not? Don't lose any money. Not that inns really cost too much money. Though, uh, the further you go in the adventure, the other inns cost more money. Uh, so, but here it's free. So I'm going to end by going here. We're going to rest. We're going to save. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for uh, for more Dragon Quest. And if you did enjoy, um, hopefully you'll leave a like. And if you've got any questions, comments, feedback, all that jazz, drop them down below. And I've actually got a question for you guys in this video, which I might have already asked, not too sure. But let me know, what's your favorite cheese thing? If you're into cheese, what's your favorite cheese food? You can be like cheese sandwich, cheese on toast, cheesy pizzas cheesy chips or fries um whatever you like let me know in the comments i'd love to know if you're a fan of cheese what's your favorite cheese cheese food that you like to eat or you know what do you like to put cheese on i suppose anyway guys thanks so much for watching and all i could say is hope i see you guys in the next part take care see you then